Another day, another allegation, this time on Murdoch's home turf. The U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation is examining accusations the media mogul's news corporation may have tried to hack into phone records of victims of the September 11 attacks. They had watched events unravel across the Atlantic in England. Now the protesters were literally at Murdoch's door on Fifth Avenue, demanding Congress investigate whether news corporation may have broken U.S. laws. And from Rupert Murdoch, the first reaction printed in one of his own papers, explaining his about turn and agreeing to answer questions with his son James in Parliament. Earlier, both had said they would be unavailable. I think they kind of underestimate how keen we are to make sure that we get to the bottom of these allegations and not to just be brushed off. So, you know, fair play to them. They've responded to it. Um, they, uh, uh, they could have, I suppose, uh, not be in the country next week, but they're now doing that. The political fallout has hit the top of the Metropolitan Police. Sir Paul Stevenson faced calls for his resignation after admitting Neil Wallace, arrested on suspicion of phone hacking, was recently employed as his personal adviser. And more pressure on Rebecca Brooks. Saudi billionaire Prince Alwalid bin Talal, a major shareholder in Murdoch's News Corporation, has said she has to go.